Here I'm going to show you how to create a PDF with the click of a button from any worksheet in Excel. And this is going to streamline your workflow in the worksheet. For instance, let's say that we have a data set like this and we'd like to export variations of it, but we don't always know what those are going to be. For instance, right now, let's say we want Jim and Joe, create a PDF, click that guy, and there you go. But now let's say that we also need one just with Jim. Now we create the PDF, and there you go. So you're really going to save a lot of time if you need to create a lot of PDFs or a lot of versions of them. And what you can do is just to have this little button on every worksheet that you might ever want to export as a PDF. And there's only a couple different steps that we have to go through in order to make this guy work. Now, of course, this is going to use a little bit of VBA and macros to automate the worksheet. And if you'd like to learn more about automating worksheets, check out my full Excel VBA and macro course on teachexcel.com. I'll put a link to it below this video. It's a comprehensive course that's going to teach you even if you haven't ever touched a line of code or VBA in your life. But now let me show you how to make this guy work. And the first thing that you need to understand is that when you're creating a PDF, you are essentially printing. So you want to make sure you have all of your print settings for the worksheet set up correctly and we're going to go to page layout for that. Now what I've done here is made orientation a landscape and then I have selected everything that I would like to be included in the PDF in printing. So we select that then we go to print area set print area. If you want to reset it you can hit clear print area and then select another one and set print area. And it's this feature right here that makes it so that our button create PDF is not included in the PDF itself. As well, you may have noticed that this guy down here is not included in that. You just right click it, go to size and properties. That's off the window right now. Then properties and uncheck print object. Now that's not really part of this tutorial, but that's why that guy does not appear. The last thing that we want to do for the print settings is I want to center everything. So we can go right here, page setup, then margins and center on page horizontally and vertically. Then OK. And now we're ready to go to the code. So hit Alt F11 on the keyboard. And if you download this file, just follow along. I'm going to show you what you can change for your workbook. If it's a new workbook, go to Insert Module or go to a View Project Explorer to make sure this guy is visible and open up the module for this workbook. And once you're here, you can see it's a very easy setup. We have just a variable to hold the new file name, the name of the PDF that we're going to create, so where it's going to be saved on the computer and what its name will be, and we fill that in right here. So this is the full file path where I want to put that file on my computer, and then we give it a name. Now you could hard code the name in right here, a new name. But what we do is we go out of the quotes, ampersand, we go to the next line, and we say, hey, I want you to get the name of this from cell A1 on the current worksheet. So if we go back to the worksheet, we can see A1 is sales data. So that PDF is going to be called sales data. And then at the very end, don't forget .pdf for the file extension. Now this will overwrite any other file with the same name in the same location. So take note of that, and if you have my full VBA course, I do tell you how to make it so that you never overwrite a file by generating a unique number. That's beyond this tutorial, but in the full course we cover that quite extensively. Now for the final chunk is make the PDF. What do we want to do? Well, let's go with the active worksheet, the worksheet where the button is located. Then we're going to create a PDF give it this file name and location that we created here. And next up, ignore print areas. Set that to false, so it will only print what you want. And open after publish, let's set that to true this time, so we can take a look at our PDF after it's been created to make sure everything looks good. And once you create the PDF, remember, it's going to be located right here. So it's not in some hidden directory, you say where it's going to be. Now we can go back to the worksheet, and let me show you how to create this button. Go to Illustrations, Shapes, 
and a rounded rectangle. So insert, illustrations, shapes, rounded rectangle. Draw a little guy right there. Type create PDF. Go to the home tab, center, center. Click away, right click, assign macro. And we choose the macro that we just created, send email invoice PDF. If you have a lot of workbooks open, it might be a little bit confusing. You can click this drop down and just select this workbook. And then click send email PDF, which I'm just now realizing is the same name as the macro from the previous tutorial. Let's change that in just a moment and then hit OK. Now we click away, we click the button and we get a PDF. And that's how you can streamline your workflow with just a few lines of code. But lastly, let's go ahead and change the name of that macro. I completely forgot to do that. Send email invoice PDF is from the previous tutorial. Let's rename this guy create PDF. How about that? Like I said earlier, if you'd like to learn a lot more about VBA macros and automating your workbooks, check out my full course on teachexcel.com. It is made for regular people to be able to learn how to code and automate their workbooks. And if you have any questions on that, feel free to write me. But for this tutorial, that's all there is. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and hit the bell icon so you can get all of my new tutorials. Have a great week and see you next time.